Well, how do there, chums? Okay, well, I am playing at No Man's Sky inside of my PC save. Now, as you know, I'm not too far with inside of my PC save. However, I have managed to install one of these. These activate planetary probes. Whenever you hit this up, it scans every planet inside of the solar system that you're in, and it gives you a runover of which each of the, the pla planets are. Now, what I'm looking for is a planet that has got some sort of infestation. And as you can see, none of these planets have the brood infestation sign. Now, I think you need to be in normal mode or above for these to actually appear anyway, because, you know, they're, they're quite... They're quite difficult when you get there. So I'm on normal mode right now. Lovely jubbly. OK, so I need to jump to another system. So I'm just going to hit the galactic map. Now, a lot of people say that red star systems, green or blue, with low economy, have got a high chance of spawning them. So I'm just looking for There's a red star system there. Data unavailable on that one, though. Data unavailable on that one, too. Uh, maybe I haven't got the economy scanner installed for my uh, freighter. So bear me one second. I'll, I'll just go double check. I don't I think I have. Hmm, maybe I haven't. OK, one second then. So first I may need to have a look to see if I've got the scanner installed. And no, it doesn't look like I have. So I'm going to head on over to this console here and have a quick look, see people. One me a moment. So what I want is the base parts and upgrades menu. And I've already unlocked this sort of technology. So that's what we want. We want to install that. And as you can see there, I'm going to need wiring looms. I'm going to need a bit more chromatic metal. So I'm going to have to go on the scavenge and get those parts. But that's what I need to install right there. That's so I can actually you know, pick up the old economies and the conflict level. So I'm going to go gather those resources. And then I'll be right back with you. And once I've got it installed, people. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to install it in here. That's pretty much all I'm going to do. Okay, Johns, well, luckily, a lot of those parts, other than the wiring looms, I could actually craft anyway, because I had a shed load of cadmium and all this that I can just convert into the chromatic metal. So, lovely jubbly. Got that installed, all done, diddly and done. That's in. Okay, right. Now, let's go back over to the old galactic map, because... I guess. Now, let's go and have a look at a red system or blue system. So, there's a blue one right there. And the actual economy is a two-star... I'm going to give it a go anyway. We'll go there. We'll have a look-see. OK, well, I've arrived in this blue star system. So now all I'm going to do is run up to this, like, hot tub type looking thing. Do that. Pow. And have a look-see there. So activated idiom. Nope. Nope. And um, no. I mean, that is an infect... Oh, it's irradiated. I thought it said invested. But it's not. OK, right. OK, fair enough. Um, so yeah, it's a case of doing that until you find a system that's got one. So we go back to the old warp map, and away I go again. I reconvene when I find one, but it's and I'll let you know how many times I jump to different systems. Okay, well I found this one over here, which actually has a low economy, but I think that might be yellow, not red. Yeah, I'll have a look there as well. I love the warp animation when you're inside of your piratey dreadnought. Looks cool. Okay, jumps. Well, I've found one. Here we go. You can see there, Vile Brood, and it's a Vapor planet. Freaking nice. So we can go there. There's a couple of other cool planets in this system, but it's that one that I want to go to. So Cotayon Omega. Cool. And you can see there it says Vile Brood detected. Right. So let's go on out and let's go and see that planet. I'll see you at the planet, people. Okay, chums, this is the first time I've flown through clouds on my PC, and we know they've added volumetric clouds in, so I thought I'd record it, but that was a little bit... Mm, uneventful. <laughs> right, well, here we go. Let's uh, touch down here. This is one of the biomes that I really wished Hello Games give a little bit more tweak into, which is a swamp planet, because they all look very similar. Oh, look at the clouds. Maybe they'll do that in part two. Okay, coolio. Something I noticed is when I loaded into this, Hello Games and the game upped all my graphic settings as well on PC. So all my graphic settings, I, I'd fine-tuned them. They've all been welded up to Ultra. So I've left it just to see what it looks like, but I might have to retweak them back down again to what they were before. 
But you know what? It looks like they've optimized it a bit better. It's looking a bit better. Anyway, what I'm looking for now is a brood grub icon. And I'm not seeing any right now. So I'm going to have to go and run around on this planet and try and find one. Now, what I have been told, though, is they tend to appear near outposts and buildings. So if you fly over a planet and just occasionally, I mean, I'm going to lock on to, say, like a bearing like south. So I'm always flying south so I don't get mixed up. And every now and again, just hit your scanner. Hopefully that's going to bring you up a building icon. And then you can go towards the building icon and then look for your grub near to a building. Because apparently they appear near buildings. So here's a building over here. Let's go and just touch down here and let's just put that theory to the test, shall we? Okay, so there's a landing ring right there. Yeah, I want to land there, please. I guess. I didn't think we were finding a building so quick. I was just about to edit to cut the video. Oh, I'm going to show you another way to do all of this even quicker without having to use the galactic map or anything a little bit later on, people. So stay tuned for that one. Okay, right. Let's um, spin this around then. Let's see if we can find one of these grubs. Ah, I'm not seeing a grub at the moment. So I'll carry on looking. I might just have a look on foot or I could fly to a few more buildings and see if we find one. Yeah, fun times. Okay, no grubs near here. Okay, chums, well, I've landed near another building, and look there. There's a grub right here. It's just in all like, it's just like these little buildings here. So maybe there's just the tiny settlements, but there you go. Let's head on over this way. And let's go pick up one of these grubs. Now, before you actually do too much, just make sure you've got your, your weapon of choice selected. Make sure you're fully locked and loaded. Oh. Well, I don't see the grub, but it, it's, I guess it's under the ground. All right, well, um, let's just see if I... Oh, there you go. It's actually in the ground, this one. How bizarre. All right, well, I'm going to pick it up. Oh, look, there's another one there. There's two of them. I'll have that as well. Cool, I've got two grubs. Okay, right, now that you've got your grub... You should be able to find it inside of your inventory. There you go, I've got two there. I'm going to crush one, and this is where all hell is going to break loose. There we go. Look at that! Big boss creature! Pow! Now I've got this, this weapon here, because it does radial damage. Pow! It's got quite a good blast rage to yes. Pow! It doesn't always charge up, though. I just shoot lots of little bullets at him. Take that, you! Because it, for whatever reason, the charging function isn't working too well on my... pad. Take that, you! Get out of it, you! As you can see here, I've got quite a lot of shields. Die! Take that, you evil bug of nastiness! Oh, we got him. We got him. Okay, and we got given a skull. There we go. We got given a brood skull. It says there, transform the appearance of your exosuit at the appearance modifier. So appearance modifiers, you can build them at your base. They're also in the stations and they're also in the actual nexus. I'm going to be going to the nexus mainly because, you know, I said that there's another way of getting to this a lot quicker and hunting these things. There's a new mission that's been added into the actual Nexus Cube from the actual Spatial Anomaly that we should be able to just pick up and run. The only thing is, if it's not there, it takes 10 minutes to cycle. So it could mean that you're going to be sitting inside of the Nexus for a little while. Now, just to prove this works, I'm going to jump to a completely new system. So I'm just going to go miles away from this system that I just found. I'm just going to go somewhere random. There, that'll do. And go into the Nexus over there. 
Okay, chum, so I'm inside of the Spatial Anomaly. This here is the Nexus, the Nexus Mission Giving Cube. Let's have a look, see if there's one there. There's Erno from Baines, Hack Sentinel Pillar. Nope, there's not one there right now. So it's a case of having to wait 10 minutes. They recycle exactly on the 10 minute mark. It's synchronized with the internet clock of things. So I've got another five minutes. So you know what? I might as well go on up to the actual appearance modifier and have a look at this bug head. And then we'll see if another mission rose through soon. Okay, I won't be a moment. Okay, chums. So my race at the moment is Anomaly. So if I then go to head, you can see here I've unlocked a new head. Let's have a quick look at the brooding skull then. There we go, there's the one I just got. I can look like Ant-Man! Yes, I'm not overly a fan of the buggy type looks, to be honest, people. Right, anyway, I'm just going to stick with my Atlas head shield for now. But there you go, that's how you can actually put them on once you've got them. There's quite a lot to collect, there's quite a lot of bugs to kill. So I might as well go kill some more bugs. But like I say, I'm going to wait until the mission actually arrives in. That's if it's there. You know, although it's in the patch notes, you know... I could be here for a while, so I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea and I'm going to let it cycle through maybe about, I don't know, four or five times and we'll see if we get lucky. Well chums, currently I've been here for two cycles, so that's 20 minutes. I'm probably going to wait for an hour just to see if it cycles in within an hour. I think that's a reasonable amount of time, otherwise, you know, method one is probably the best method. Now it could be that they've put this mission inside of the patch notes to say that it is coming to the Nexus. But maybe it's not going to come to the Nexus until maybe after the expedition, is what I'm thinking. Because the expedition is going to let you tour these planets and take out these creatures. But we'll see, because it's hard to understand whether the patch notes means it's there now, or it will be there soon. Yeah. Okay, it's down to interpretation. Okay, chums, now just to prove that these do roll over, like bang on time, it's... We've got like 20 seconds to go before it changes again. So all I'm doing is looking at a clock and uh, waiting for the seconds to tick down. So here we go. There's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change. There you go. And it changed. Hey, it didn't give me what I wanted there. We've got monstrosities, hazardous flora, surveyor planet, or construct an outpost this time. Okay, we'll have to wait another 10 minutes. Okay, chums, well, while we're waiting for that 10 minutes, I thought I'd pop on over to the Tinterweb, a vile brood Nexus mission. The observers aboard the Space Anomaly regret the spread of the vile brood across the universe. Their queens and grubs, disturbing the delicate balance of local ecosystems, they request that travellers band together to cull these invasive species and restore balance to nature. Group up with friends or strangers at the Nexus to sign up for this new mission. So it almost feels like it should be there. The only thing why I'm thinking it's not there is because we've got this expedition to run from the spatial anomaly so it's been arranged by like nada and polo when it comes to law and all that sort of stuff and it's this line here the observers above the space anomaly regret the spread so it's almost like they're responsible for the spread and considering that the actual expedition hasn't started yet i don't think this mission has started yet i think this is going to appear in the nexus to run after the actual expedition but that's just one interpretation of it isn't it really i mean yeah i mean let's do a control f and let's search for the word nexus so we've got nexus there a new multiplayer mission has been added to the nexus to find and destroy the vile brood it doesn't mention this mission will appear after the expedition it's just left down to interpretation multiplayer missions will now use the correct icon for the hand in stage at the nexus okay and that's it. That's the only references. So there's not much to go on. Like I say, it's down to interpretation. Okay, right, well, um, back over to the game, I suppose, and uh, standing at the old Nexus Cube and waiting for something to happen. Coolio. Well, chums, it's rotated round again. We've got Hack Sentinel Pinner, Hunt Dangerous Pirates, Surveyor Planet, Construct an Outpost. Yeah, so what's this? This is, this is four. This is number four now. I'm going to wait another two times, and then that's a full hour of sitting and waiting to see if it rolls in. 
But here we go, chums. Five, four, three, two, one. Change of Mondo. God dang it. Dang it. I've seen Hack Sentinel Pillar a heck of a lot. But no, I still haven't seen this new mission cycle through. I'm going to give it one more chance, and that will be six times. That'll be a full hour of sitting up here. All right, people. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, chums. Five, four, three, two, one. Chicka pa Ah! Purge the infestation. I think that's the, um, the hunger in tendrils, though, isn't it? That doesn't look like the grub icon. That's the hundred and tentacles ones. Purge the infestation. I mean, I, I could go to that planet and just hope that it's got the actual grubs on it. Let's give that a go. Okay, here we go. Let's hit this up then. And initialize mission. Let's see if it's got the grubs on the planet. You would have thought that it would have, wouldn't you? Because it's an infested well. All right. It might not be to kill the grubs, but this mission might take us to a planet that's got the grubs on it. Could it be a shortcut? It might be. It might not be. But we're going to try it right here, right now. But I don't think that that new mission has been added into the Nexus repository. And if it has, they've put such a low seed rate on it that you're going to be waiting for eternity. You would like to think within an hour, every single mission type would cycle through, wouldn't you? There we are. Okay, chums, we're looking at this planet. You can see there that it's definitely infested, but it doesn't mention about the brood. So it looks like you, there's infested there's infested wells, but they don't actually have the vile brood on them. So I don't think we're going to get lucky with this one, people. I think it is just, you know, taking out the hundred and tendrils. I, I honestly don't think it's going to have these little grubs on it, which... I think it's really odd, but that's not the case. I would have thought that all these planets would have had the grubs on. Hmm? Oddities. Oddities, people. Oddities. Strange choices from the hello of the games. Wouldn't you say? I mean, if any planet deserves to have the grubs on, it's this one. I mean, look at it. It's got giant worms and everything. Add the grubs to these planets. Hello, games. Okay. Well, I can see that we're... I can do this mission. Not a problem, but yeah. It's not got the vile brood on here, so we're not going to see the vile brood. Anyway, I'm going to go do this mission, and then I'll reconvene with you and give me my final thoughts. I've done a poll to ask if anybody else has seen it inside of the Nexus, so we'd have a look at that poll. Oh, people, they've gone and upped these, haven't they? They now spit acid. Take that, you get back. Kapow! Zap! Yeah, the actual charging on this PlayStation pad through the PC isn't as intuitive. I'm going to swap to a different weapon. There we go. That's better. Take that, you! Get! Ow! He bit me! Did you see that? He freaking bit me! Get out of it! Right, okay. There's some more over here. We're going to go get him. Alright, people. I guess... Zoom! Like a grasshopper, I leap. Anyway, I'll get on with this mission. Well, dang it, people. That did not work, did it? But it was still fun taking out those hundred tendrils. Let's complete the old mission. Okay. Now, let's just see if anything else has rolled in. Nope. I definitely don't think it's going to be there, people. It doesn't look like it is anyway. All right. Well, there we go. At least we tried that method. It could be a good way of finding them in future, but for now, it looks like the main method is just to hopefully come across one by scanning. I think I gave you my best tips on how to do that. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you picked up something from this video, mainly not to stand around for freaking time inside of the old Nexus. But like I said, I did a poll. The only thing is I did the poll halfway through the time that I was making this video. So there's probably not a great deal in it. We'd have a look, see though. Okay, coolio. Uh, right, well, here we are. Okay, no one has actually seen it. Let me just hit a refresh on this, just in case, because I should have more than three by now. Not there. Waited for at least an hour. So, just like me. Okay, cool. After Expedition 14, patch notes imply after 13. No idea. Patch notes sort of imply both. It should be there. 19% of people. That's what I was thinking. It's, yeah. 
Really annoying. There you go. Let's have a look at the comments. Let's have a look what we've got here. I don't know on my next box. Okay, ask again next week. I really feel bad for the Xbox players. Yeah, don't ask us Xbox players. We're on the back burner treatment again. Yeah, it, it's not great. Especially if you're a content creator and the only platform you have is Xbox as well. I really feel for my audience because a massive swathe of my audience is on Xbox. And right now, watching my videos is a choice where if they do, they're going to get spoilers. You know, it's... It's not a nice position to be in. I know people could say, well, you could wait until it's out on all platforms, but a major swathe of my audience is on PC and on PlayStation. And if I did that, they're only going to go and watch other content creators or they're going to go on Reddit and ask questions. And they're going to be like, well, why isn't Captain Steve doing videos on this? It's a, it's a double edged sword. You either do the content and keep a massive portion of your audience happy or do the content and, 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 and a minority of your audience might go, oh, I don't know whether I want to watch it or not. There's no real way to win this for content creators. There really isn't. So anyways, I'm putting out the content. I'm putting it out now. I mean, the only time that I might you know, hold back from putting out videos is if something goes to PC Experimental as a test. You know, then I might just put it live just for my members and backers. And then once it goes out to PC or PlayStation, it starts hitting the platforms and goes live legit then fine, cover it off. I honestly don't think this issue is down to Hello Games. I honestly do think this is a Microsoft issue, you know? So I, I don't think we can be getting angry at Hello Games. I'm fairly sure they push all of this out to every single platform at the same time. And for whatever reason, every platform just isn't getting it at the same time. And I'd imagine that's down to their own certification settings, you know? So I think this is more to do with the likes of Xbox and Nintendo, not pulling out the stops quick enough and getting those certificate checks through. Now you've got to see this from Hello Games' perspective. They try to get sales on, on all platforms at the same time. And usually those sales happen on all platforms at the same time. So they've put a lot of vested interest into trying to get it out there on all platforms and the sale on all platforms. But some platforms, for whatever reason, are just a little bit too slow. It's one of those. But anyway, people, that's my take on it. I hope Xbox players and I hope Nintendo Switch players get into this. The only positive to take away from it is right now all the PC players and all the PlayStation Sony players are finding all the bugs. So hopefully when you do get it, you're going to have a bug-free experience. Okay, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Subscribe. Let's hit that hit.